Daily Purge. Back to work. First day of work after the holidays. How's it feeling? You fired up, pumped up, ready to go? Or are you just in, in between days, right? Getting ready for New Year's Eve. Getting ready to fire. Fire. Actually, that's a German word. So getting ready to celebrate. There, you just learned a German word. Fire. Fire means party. Celebrate. Have a good time. We're not going to do much for New Year's this year. Um, I think we're just going to be thankful for the year that we had. We had a fantastic year. Um, revenue was up massively. Um, had some great, uh, met some great people, did some great events, had some great speaking events as well. So I'm just going to sit and reflect upon my 2019, how great it was. And then for 2020, you know, I talked yesterday about goal setting because of the goal setting course that Lane and I have that if you haven't joined yet, you should literally join and check out the link. Uh, go, go to the page, read through it and see what it does for you. Cause you'd be surprised how easy it is to actually set goals. It's going to take you to the place that you want to be. Um, too often people set short-term goals and then they forget about the future and the future is where you want to go. You want to have the goal at the end and have the path leading you to that goal. And along the path, you have little targets that you got to hit. So as we talked about yesterday, but you know, today it's real simple. You know, I, I, being thankful is something that a lot of people say, oh yeah, whatever. I'm thankful. Of course I am. But how do you actually show that in your life? I mean, do you show it to the people in your life? Do you tell them you're thankful for them? Do you, um, you know, speak to them, take them aside, look in their eyes and actually give them some time? Or is you just too busy to do that? You know, these things not only gives, um, you know, them a wider view of what you think and who you are and how you, how you feel, but it also allows you to, to reflect deeply upon what it is that you really appreciate in your life. And what that does is it creates more. See what you're thankful for um, typically uh, creates more of what you're thankful for, if you know what I mean. <laughs> So there's two ways that I do that. That's throughout the day. As you know, I do my magic morning. I get up and then I spend time with my kids after I do my, my own set of personal things. And I spend time with my kids and my wife. And then we go to the gym together with my wife. And at night before I go to bed, if I remember, which is about probably four nights a week, um, I'm, I, I go through my head and say I'm thankful for uh, this, that, and the other. Specific, very, very, very specific things that I'm thankful for because that's what I want more of. So whatever I'm thankful for, I'm being thankful actively and consciously so that I could create more of that. And, and it really, really works. So if you're out there and you're thankful for all kinds of things, but you never told anybody, today's a day, tell them. Today's a day to tell yourself what you're thankful for. Remind yourself either when you get up tomorrow morning or tonight when you go to bed about what it is you're thankful for that will really help you start creating a new life or a life that's continued in the success in the areas that you, you're, you're thankful for. So give it a shot. You know, it's real simple. It takes minutes. And, uh, you know, you can really um, reap the benefits of it. So you have a fantastic one, everybody. everybody and uh, remember, it's all about quality of life. See you guys next time.